If you're wondering why this video is taking place at the beach, it's because the beach is the best place in the world to do a math book review. So there is a math book and it is buried somewhere in the sand. Nothing yet. Been looking for a little while. Still nothing yet. Anything that will indicate that something has been buried in the sand. What's this? It looks like the letter S. S could mean integral or it could mean something else. And there is a pile of seaweed here. All right, let's see what we can find buried in the sand. See if we can find anything. Maybe we should be digging where the S is, but if there's anything here in the sand. Oh, oh, I hit something. I think we have uncovered something deep in the sand. It is a book. We have found lost treasure in the form of math books. I'm gonna attempt to open this. See what is inside it. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a book. I don't know if you can see the title. Get out of the glare, so you can see. It looks like it's Paul Halmos' naive set theory, the university series in undergraduate mathematics. Paul Hamels was a super famous mathematician. I mean, this guy was awesome. And this is one of his most famous works. It's called Naive Set Theory. It's so cool that we find it here at the beach. And what better place to do a book review than the beautiful beach? Let's take a look inside this awesome book. So this is the inside cover. It says Naive Set Theory by Paul R. Hamels, professor of mathematics, University of Indiana. Uh, really, really nice book. In the preface of the book, Paul spends quite a bit of time explaining why he decided to call the book uh, Naive Set Theory. He also talks about Hostdorf's uh, book Set Theory, which I also own and is also a great book. This book, however, is more friendly for the beginning mathematician. So if you're just starting out, this is a great book. Let's look at the contents. So you have the preface, the axiom of extension, the axiom of specification. I'll go through it kind of quickly. It's getting windy here at the beach. Ah, the all-famous Zorn's Lemma. So all of your basic topics. What makes this book so special compared to other books is Paul's writing style. This book is written at a level that is appropriate for the beginning mathematician. And if you are already an expert in the field, as Paul states, you will find nothing new in this book. However, uh, that also means it's a very easy book to read. You can sit back at the beach, like we are here today, and you can enjoy this book. And I always think there's something to be learned even from the most simplest of books. That's not to say this book is simple, right? This is a math book. This is kind of cool. There's like a little receipt here. It says 20 November, 1973. So old school. I guess that's when this book was purchased uh, originally, maybe. At the end of each section, there's a small exercise. But as Paul says, the book can be thought of as a collection of exercises. So whenever he gives an example, you should go through and verify any details that are missing or omitted. Again, this is a really good book to read leisurely. Um, I mean, you should read it like a math book, but since it's not that advanced, you can actually sit down and read through it slowly. Of course, if you're new to set theory, then it will take you considerably more effort um, to get through this book. So again, the book is Naive Set Theory, and it's written by Paul Hamos. This is a great book. I'll try to put a link in the description. If you have never heard of this book, um, I definitely think you should pick it up. You could probably find a used copy for only a few dollars. Great book. Until next time.